Pat Riley says Dwayne Wade, quote, is going to be there tonight despite missing the team's morning shoot-around practice with flu-like symptoms. Many have compared Flash's game to the flashy game of one Michael Jordan. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Pressure doesn't phase the Detroit Pistons. Oh, what a block by Wallace! With their backs against the walls, they got back to what made them champions. And takes on France with a huge three. Playing with heart and a whole lot of hustle. Every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm hustling, every day I'm every day. I'm... Now the pressure shifts to Miami and their last chance to close it out at home. They don't want to come back to the house for game seven. It's going to be pressure on them to win at home on Friday. Every day I'm hustling. It's the Pistons and Heat. Game six of the Eastern Conference Finals next. When you've been the finals MVP, cool as a cucumber. That's Chauncey Billups as he gets ready. Antoine Walker may have to come up big tonight. We'll explain that in a moment. And Big Ben Wallace. Six Pistons Heat, D-Wade in the starting lineup despite flu-like symptoms. Let's go back to Game 5 of the 97 NBA Finals. Bulls Jazz, Michael Jordan deciding to play with the flu, scoring 38 points, including a go-ahead three with seconds left in the game. And the Bulls win 90-88, to and they win the series in six games. Now let's go back to last night, first quarter, heat up one. Wade, maybe feeling sick, but he throws a sick pass to Shaq for the alley with heat up three. Heat up four now, a minute later, Antoine Walker going to screen Tayshaun Prince and Ben Wallace to allow Wade to find Shaq for another alley. We've heat up six. They shot 69% in the first quarter. Moments later, Jason Williams driving for the layup. Heat up eight. He was five for five in the first half. Came out smoking. Second quarter we go. Heat up five. Wade. Bank shot. It's open on a Friday night in Miami. His first field goal of the game. Heat up seven. Moments later, Chauncey Bellis penetrates past the Ben Wallace for the dunk. Now the Pistons down five. Minutes later, D. Wade on the drive. Going to miss the layup, but Shaq is there with the follow. They led 47-36 at the half. They won 22 playoff games when leading at the half. 22 straight. Early third quarter, Shaq grabbing a rebound, fighting for position, fighting for position, making a layup and one. He missed the free throw, though. Heat up 11. Moments later, J. Will. Six for six from the field at that point. Heat up 13. D-Wade didn't leave the locker room until halfway into the third. He needed another IV, so he's in. Later third, Pistons having trouble. Tayshaun Prince stealing the pass. Driving to the other end, and he can't finish. Prince three for nine from the field with ten points. Later, Chauncey Billups. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. Missing the open layup. Pistons shoot 33% for the game. D-Wade now with the rebound. Fall away. Heat up 19. Last seconds of the quarter. Heat up 17. Wade again. Off balance, Jay. 14 points on 6 to 15 shooting, but he had 10 assists in this game, and they are celebrating. Fourth quarter we go. Pistons trying to make a comeback down 13. Shaq going to pin Rips at layup attempt against the backboard, and we are off and running. And he's going to finish with a little emphasis right there. 28 points, 16 boards, heat up 15. Gary Payton with the steal, tipping it to Williams, coast to coast, 10 for 12 from the field, 21 points, one shot of his playoff high, heat up 17, they're going to win 95-78.
Shaq and Wade celebrating the first trip to the NBA Finals in franchise history. Heat win the series four games to two, making their first ever appearance in the NBA Finals. Shaq and Gary Payton becoming the 10th and 11th players to play in the NBA Finals with three different teams. Pat Riley going to his ninth NBA Finals, becoming only the second coach to take three different franchises to the NBA Finals. Beating the Pistons, you know, makes it makes it real. You know, if it was any other matchup in these current finals, it wouldn't have been the same. Um, so, and not knocking any other team, but, you know, because they knocked us out last year and um, on our home floor. So, you know, doing it once again, winning it on our home floor this year, made it sweet. I think we came together throughout the whole season. You know, we had injuries here and there, and you guys doubting us and, and saying that we couldn't come together as a team. And Pat never never let us let us listen to you guys and let us believe that. So we just took it one game at a time and, and do what we got to do. We knew tonight we were um, we're going to respond. We just we knew we, how we played in Game Five. We just made a lot of mental mistakes that we hadn't been making in Game Three and Four. So we got back to our basketball. It's always, uh, for me, a harrowing ride because you just don't know what landmines and trap doors are going to open up along the way. So, uh, But our guys came tonight and put the hammer down, period. They did. They're going to pick the hammer back up Thursday night at either Dallas or Phoenix NBA Finals on ABC. Shaq's 12 for 14 shooting performance in last night's win made his field goal percentage over 65% in the series. The second best in a seven-game series of the Diesel's career. His three best shooting series have all come in the conference finals. Well, the Detroit Pistons have had the best starting five in basketball over the last three seasons, but the Miami Heat had the two best players on the floor in this series, and they saved their best basketball for the Pistons. Dwayne Wade, Shaquille O'Neal really playing at such a high level. No team could overcome that. Detroit Pistons usually holding opponents under 40% from the field, allow Miami over 54% in four of the six games. That's too much to overcome, particularly when your offense is struggling the way that it is. Collectively, they had a hard time making shots. They lost confidence, and they didn't know how how to defend the Miami Heat. Taking a ball of the net all night, you get no easy baskets. When the Detroit Pistons look back on this series, that's really what it's going to boil down to. Shaq got off the bus in Miami two years ago and promised a championship. Now he gets a chance to deliver.